Good afternoon and thank you for being here today. We really appreciate the media's attention on this double homicide and your patience. Last night on the 18th of April at approximately 6.44 p.m., the Austin Police Department received a call responding to uh, shots fired at 7121 Dixie. And subsequently, we had two individuals that sustained gunshot wounds and died at the scene. Last night when you approached us out at the scene, we were not able to give you a lot of information. And as this investigation has unfolded uh, today, I want to be able to share with you some of the things that we've identified and determined thus far. The individuals that were shot and killed, uh, the victims' names are Norma Huertardo, and I may be mispronouncing that. It's H-U-R-T-A-D-O, and Maria Ricardo, a mother and daughter that resided uh, at this residence. There was a knock at the door. The door was answered, and subsequently those shots were fired. There was another individual in the back of the residence that heard the shots, who came forward and discovered the bodies of Maria and Norma and called the police. During the course of our investigation, officers were speaking with a number of witnesses and individuals in the area, and we were told about a vehicle, a green SUV that had left the area quickly with two Hispanic males that ran from the residence at 7121 Dixie. Through our investigation, we had learned that the young lady in the back of the residence was in a relationship with Norma. And her family was quite upset over this relationship. And an arrest has been made in the murders of both Norma and Maria. And the individual arrested in the early morning hours this morning was Jose Alfonso Aviles, a Hispanic male born December 10th, 1965. Jose was arrested in the San Antonio area by the Lone Star Fugitive Task Force, sponsored by the United States Marshals Service. This had been an ongoing dispute between these families, and it turned tragic into, her, into a horrific act of violence with the death of two individuals. Our investigation is still ongoing. We still have many questions that we need answers to, but today we are happy to announce the arrest of Jose. This is a very isolated incident. There is no fear uh, for the community. There's, uh, this was isolated to this family, to this household, between these individuals. And so I would like to put any fears to rest at this time. There is no immediate danger to anyone else in the community from uh, this act of violence last night.